Hello Riders and Not! And today I am in London at the MCN Motorcycle Show. First motorcycle show since all the lockdowns happened. I'm so excited. So many people here, crowded. And let's go and see what motorcycles are coming in 2022 and what brands are here and how the show looks and everything. I'll try to show you as much as I can. I'm limited to one day only. All of the custom bikes you see on this side of the stand, they're all Crazy Horse Project bikes. Mm -hmm. So they range from the Green Malanishi, which is over there by the uh, by the truck. Mm -hmm. That was built by Crazy Horse as part of our original Project Scout mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. So they range through, basically this one is a customer bike. So this is built basically by Crazy Horse for a customer. For a customer, okay. As a tribute to the martini colours of the servitors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. basically. Is this Lon London Crazy Horse or...? So Crazy Horse now have four dealerships. Oh, okay. So one in Boris St Edmunds, which mm -hmm. was the original. The main one. Yeah. Um, then the Welling, London. Mm -hmm. Then Crazy Horse Farmhouse, which basically is just outside um, uh, Chippen Camden. Yeah, it just opened a couple of years ago. Yeah, it? that's right. Yeah. And now we've got a brand new brand experience I've heard centre. about it. Yeah. Kensington? In Kensington, yeah. So we've taken over the old Bristol car showroom, mm -hmm. well, Crazy Horse have taken over the old Bristol car showroom. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be an epic new venue. Okay. Real, proper okay. landmark site. Okay, bringing. can't wait to visit it. Well, can we invite you to the opening? When is it? Ah, I'll tell later. Is it a secret? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, would you say that uh, Indian custom built culture is growing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because, because three years ago, before the lockdowns and everything, you just launched new models, new customizable models. I remember riding a Scout. That's right. And yeah. then you launched FTR. No, yeah, F correct. Is it so, FTR? FTR is gaining in traction. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's more of a, you know, a standard European fast road platform. Mm -hmm. um, people are customizing them, but the real staple for customization is Scout, mm -hmm. um, and also now the new air-cooled model of Chief, because mm -hmm. that's a very traditional platform, mm -hmm. so a lot of people are getting into customization on mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't got a custom one here, but there will be one revealed very soon in the UK. It's such an easy platform, the Scout, oh, yes. because it was designed to be unboltable. Yeah. You know, basically every element of it mm -hmm. comes apart with a few spanners. You can change the look without actually having to chop anything off it. Mm -hmm. So you can maintain the value of the bike. It's a really easy platform for a first time customizer mm -hmm. to create something a bit funky. And do you have official Indian accessories to customize your Scouts and so, other models? Yeah, models? I mean, the, the official Indian accessories um, are you know, standard seats, backrests, mm -hmm. touring luggage. You, know, you can switch it up, you can adapt it, mm -hmm. but then the aftermarket opens up a whole nother level for yeah you know, for, for really serious customizers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but our standard accessories will get you started mm -hmm. and then if you want to get really really edgy like this mm -hmm. then the aftermarket comes in it's just a simple case of going into any indian dealer mm -hmm. telling them what you want to do with the mm -hmm. bike and they'll help you source what you need mm -hmm. to you know create something like this mm -hmm. um you know sometimes it's bespoke Sometimes it's off the shelf. Mm -hmm. Depends what your budget is, what your wants and needs are. Mm -hmm. But all of our dealers are very engaged with the custom scene and they'll all be able to help you in a very low pressure way. That one. Chief Boba. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to sit on it. So what do you think? You filming? Sorry. 
but okay to sit and walk. Oh, that feels really good. Suits you. I know. If you go into a rally, as you say, it's a custom rally. Mm. Then mm. that is gonna that's gonna draw some attention to yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I'm still cool. deciding to go in the van or go on the bike. If you go in the van, I won't speak to you again. You've got to ride. We've got the Urban Motard and then the Scrambler 1100 Tribute Pro. So that's 2022. 2022 model range. Two great new bikes, especially for the retro, heritage, custom sort of area. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. really, really exciting bikes. Can't wait to get on them and ride them. I haven't ridden them yet. Yeah. So, so nobody tried them? No, yet. not yet, but we hope to get out that's, on them soon. That's really, really exciting. Yeah. Uh, what, Are you going to ride one? one? Yes, please. Which one? Uh, which one? Like this one. Yeah. I like this one. I, like I think this is going to be my favourite too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. my yeah. favourite. The Urban yeah. Motard. Yeah. Excellent bike. So are they improved with the previous scramblers? Yeah, yeah. well, we, we develop our bikes every year mm -hmm. and we take mm -hmm. a lot of customer mm -hmm. feedback, which mm -hmm. is really interesting. You know, we come to shows like this and we listen to what the customers want mm -hmm. and then we develop the bikes along the lines that the customers want, giving mm -hmm. us all the clues. So mm -hmm. hopefully we've got something really good for the UK market. Yeah, yeah. Just so we can do a bit. So bit I can get on. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to get on it? Get on it then. Come then. Come then. On you get. Is it? Thank you. Okay then. Oh. All right. Oh. Thank you. That that feels really good. Actually. See us a minute. All right. All right then. That feels really good. Great. Yeah. You like it? It doesn't feel as big as it looks from oh, the no. side. It feels really good. It's like a the right. Well, that's the whole thing about Ducati. We mm -hmm. make light, powerful bikes, mm -hmm. but the engineering is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. We make it look good, but the weight is in the right area, so you've got the right centre of mm -hmm. gravity distribution. We get a lot mm -hmm. of females riding it mm -hmm. because it's got a low seat height, yeah, yeah, I, which I, is really good. That, that's what I want. And you feel confident yeah. when you're on it. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. But, I've seen this taken around the track at Silverstone, the full really? MotoGP track. It is so much fun to ride. Mm. So basically, anyone can ride it. Mm -hmm. This is the 1260 black and steel version. Mm -hmm. We've got three different versions for 2022 in the Diablo. So come along to your dealership and have a go. You mm -hmm. know, you've just got to test ride it. Yes, you, yes, have you not yes. ridden a Diablo yet? No. Oh, crap. Right, we have to get you out on a Diablo. Let's get you to your nearest dealer. Have you seen mm -hmm. Ducati London, our new dealership in Vauxhall? No, no, right. yet. No, We've got a new dealership no. in Vauxhall. Mm -hmm. It's called Ducati London. Mm -hmm. It's going to have the Diablo in there as a test bike, okay. a demo bike. Get in there and ride it. Meet okay. the guys, Louis and Massimo. Okay. Lovely guys okay. there. All right, All right then. All right. Okay. okay, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yamaha with Harry, marketing coordinator, yeah. and talking about what is new in the heritage range yep, of heritage Yamaha. Yeah. I rode 125 yes. a little while ago, or last year, yep. and you now have a new model. Have you improved it because it was brand new a year ago? So yeah, technically, so it was introduced in 21, but it's really a 22 model in essence. Um, and you have ridden it, so now it's all obviously trickling into dealers uh, the latter half of 21, mm -hmm. uh, but it's continued for 22, so same colour range, you've got black, yellow and red as well. Um, and yeah, you probably know it better than I do to be honest, but I've ridden it also. And just to kind of start from the top, I'd say it's based on an R125, so same frame, but essentially it obviously has the, the allure, the aesthetic design of a sports heritage model with the wider bars to give it a bigger bike feel. Mm -hmm. So although it is a 125, we extract the most performance as we can out of 125, so it's got a variable valve yeah. activation, 
low, low, low RPM cam and high RPM cam um, to get the most out of it as you need to on one two five. So that is for somebody who wants to start riding and he goes towards like a custom new custom range, not the old bikes, but uh, like brand new to have a performance as well as a custom look. Exactly that. And start on that and maybe customize it. Is yeah. it possible to upgrade the engine later? So we don't have any technical upgrade components for the engine. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's some very you, talented people that do. Are you um, planning to introduce um, that? Not to, not to my knowledge at this point, no. Um, but never say never. <laughs> but you have two new models. This is all new. Mm -hmm. um, didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. Um, and essentially, this is based on the MT-09 uh, chassis, which has been completely revised. Headstock's been lower 30 mil. Engine's been completely redesigned. Longer stroke, more CC, more torque, more power, all that good stuff. So this bike has kind of been transformed from the old one into this new beast here that you see in front of you. And last but not least is. Last but not least, is 700. Yeah, so this is a 700. So this is based on the MT-07 chassis mm -hmm. and, and, and engine as well. So it's a cross-plane crank CP2 engine. And essentially for this, for 22, new color range, facelift, new dash, little bits and bobs here and mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, so not massive changes, but aesthetically, it's been, it's been uh, adapted. Good to see you. Yeah, good it's been to a long you. time. Yeah, two years, exactly. Yeah. Two wow. years of lockdown. And it feels this has felt like like we're like we're back to normal. Yes, yes, like, it was like so nothing busy. happened. I didn't expect it that. It was yeah, so good. it's been crazy here, it's been absolutely crazy, but uh, here at the end of day two we've had a really busy time. How is CCM doing? Very, very well. Um, we've brought this stunning uh, heritage bike along with us. We've done this as a tribute to our founder who uh, who launched CCM 50 years ago. Um, we wanted to make something special, so he always wanted to make a titanium frame motorcycle, but never mm -hmm. got round to it. So mm -hmm. we thought, right, let's do it in, in his honour. So we've created this uh, this stunning Heritage 71 bike, and it's the first, the world's first production full titanium chassis motorcycle. I, I actually picked up that frame compared to our steel frame, which are not heavy anyway, and it was like a bicycle frame. It is incredible. Uh, apparently it's got the, the power to weight ratio of a Lamborghini Aventador, which is not bad for a 600 single. Uh, Dimag lightweight race wheels, it's got an exclusive paint job. Um, this beautifully handcrafted saddle with the, uh, the, the, the 50-year anniversary logo on there. And also, if you look closely on the back, here you can see it's got our founder's signature oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. laser cut into this uh, yeah. this, this piece of uh, solid aluminium. So, you know, we're only producing 71 of these and we've already sold around about 30 of them already. Uh, so, you know, this is going to be an instant collectible bike. Mm -hmm. um, I spoke to a few of the customers and they said, yeah, I'm just going to put it on a, you know, Put it, put it sort of on a on a mount in the lounge and just stare at it. I said, you've got to, you've got to ride it. That's the right you've approach. You've got to ride it. That's a shame when people are buying it just to put it somewhere. Yeah. You need to ride it. Absolutely. They are built to be used yeah. on the road. I mean, I wouldn't enjoy. ride it in the winter in the salt, yes, but yes, on a yes. nice sunny day, yeah. you've got to do it. Maybe not so. to ride it every day, like uh, to work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> not not commuting yeah. bike, but it needs yeah. to be ridden. Yeah, it absolutely. Needs to be ridden. So. So, so that's kind of the, the, the focus of what we're doing here, but we've, we've got um, another sort of Rambler. popular bike at the show. I don't know if you know, but last year saw uh, Mark Wahlberg riding one of our bikes in his new movie, Infinite. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, because of COVID, it didn't get to the big screen, but it ended up on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. And our bike was the star of the film. So he's riding it, all the stunts were our bike you know no no cgi the only bit at the end where he jumps off a cliff onto the plane 
yeah, that was that was uh, computer graphics, but everything else was, you know, our, our bike do, doing everything. So we've done a little tribute bike and it looks like, mm. you know, a classic 1960s scrambler mm. and um, that's probably been the best selling bike at the show so far. We've got another day to go. Um, if it's as good as the last couple of days, then uh, it's been well worth coming. That's brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, for great to time. see you again. Great to see you. Cheers. I'll do the Rolling Stones tour with them and when they're walking on stage we'll be filming that and the parties after and on their jet with them and just travel the world with them. Then Madonna and George Michael, they like literally everyone. And I've you quit everybody. that all to build motorcycles? Yes. And what do you have today? That is the new CB1000R. Mm -hmm. From my first model with Honda was the 1100 air cooled, mm -hmm. which is aluminium bodywork, really difficult to make, but mm -hmm. I made 50 in a year and a half on my own, mm -hmm. um, and I'm doing 54 of them. I do 54, mm -hmm. because my company's called 54. Mm -hmm. I did a limited edition Norton, they did 50 of those. Mm -hmm. It's only when I went to Honda, someone clever in marketing went, why don't you do 54, not 50, because you're mm -hmm. called 54. And that's my old um, dispatching number. Mm -hmm. I used to deliver packages around London. Okay. Yeah, when I was 17. And the guy that gave me the number now owns Road Skin Clothing. He's okay. a mate. I've known him for 45 years. Oh my god! So, and it was his birthday yesterday, so I'm still in touch with him. I was 17, had a motorbike, just wanted to be involved with motorbikes, so I thought I'd deliver packages around London. Mm -hmm. This is in late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. And I walked into his office and said, can I have a job? And he went, yes. What number do you want to be? I said, I don't know, don't care. He said, you're number 5'4", mm -hmm. and that's why that's 5'4". And four. that's your 54? Yeah. And, and you... I, did, I did a million miles in eight years around London. I did a million, a million miles. miles around London in eight years. My friends were going, Honda won't even give you a meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a little shed builder. You won't get a meeting at a Honda head office. But I did. Um, because luckily, I did the Norton, which is great. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little bit known on TV. So with the two of those, I had a track record for doing the Norton. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, let's give him a go. Let's take yeah, a chance. Yeah, yeah. So I thank Honda for doing that because they've never done any deal like this before. Mm -hmm. well, and I'm allowed to put my signature on them. It just goes in here. So they, they can say no to that. Yeah. And I wouldn't get grumpy about it. That's fine. Yeah. It's They're still bike. in the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Triple 1200RR by Triumph was the most exciting bike I wanted to see at the Triumph stand. Absolutely love this new 2022 look. Speed Triple was my favorite Triumph to ride, but not the favorite one to look at, whereas now this model is a game changer. Have you heard of Triumph 2022 limited edition gold line range? with hand-painted gold lining. It wasn't anyone on the Triumph stand that I could interview that day. But you guys know, I ride Triumphs and I hope that in 2022 I'll get to test ride a lot more models and show you them all.
Hello. Yeah, okay. Can so I ask a few on. questions about your motorcycle? Yes. On record. On record. No yeah. lies. <laughs> no lies at all. Hang on. What is it? So it's a 250cc, mm -hmm. big twin, two-stroke, mm -hmm. cafe racer, I guess. No, but what is it? What is the brand? Oh. So we're Langham two-stroke. So we are Langham motorcycles, and it is the Langham two-stroke. Are you based in the UK? Based in Wigan in the UK. In Wigan so in the UK. Northwest Manchester. So you are a new motorcycle brand yeah. based in UK, yeah. building a two-stroke motorcycle. Yeah. We started about three years ago. Mm -hmm. The engine's been around about six years. Mm -hmm. We've worked with the, the engine supplier called Vince Motors for the last three years to turn it into mm -hmm. a road. This is uh, an Italian company. Oh, okay. Owned by, com uh, owned by a guy called Vincenzo Mattia. He's an ex Ferrari powertrain oh, engineer. Okay. So he split from them a good few years ago and set up his own company making powertrain components. He's a very passionate uh, two stroke engineer. We met with him about three years ago and we said, We need your engine for a road bike. It's so good. Uh, it was a race bike engine at that stage, so we've um, we've worked to change the state of tune to suit a road mm -hmm, application. Mm -hmm. So different, uh, different feel, different vibe, more way more suited, fatter mid range, less top end, more control, more on the hand, so a good response on the hand. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking to expand your range of motorcycles? Yeah. yeah. So there is a second bike. Uh, I'll be looking after the second bike. The aim is to completely exploit the internal combustion engine before 2035 in motorcycling so all these are about passion we're all motorcyclists um, so I can definitely say the next bike will be exciting but it won't be a two-stroke and it won't be a cafe racer mm -hmm. that doesn't mean we won't re revisit two strokes in the future but the next one won't be BMW Motorrad stand was a party. To be more specific, it was Lenny Kravitz playing. Unfortunately, because of the YouTube copyrights, I'm not able to share the actual atmosphere from the stand. But it was great. It was great to see the bikes that I rode already and the bikes that I will be riding. And of course, I had to sit down again on that I-18 I rode last year up the hill at the Goodwood Festival of Speed when I found out how uncomfortable it was in the leathers. This time wearing normal clothing. It wasn't that bad. But actually I'm going to pair City Cycles very soon to talk about the other BMW builds. For that, you have to wait for the next episodes. Meanwhile, I think it's time for me to go. I don't know why it's beeping, but I think it is time for us to go home. It's been an incredible show. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't show you everything because you have to come yourself next year and you have to see it yourself. But what I tried to show you is what is the most interesting I believe will be for you. And almost everything you saw today is just a hint to a future vlogs because almost every single brand or probably every single brand I've been to on the stand I will be seeing, I will be taking bikes from so stay with me and the show will continue see you in the next one so <laughs> not yet, let's go